hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial we'll be learning on how to make this a show hair fan headband so if you're interested in learning how i achieve this ensure you sit back and watch this video to the very end like share and subscribe to this channel so that you will not miss out in any of our new tutorials the first thing I did was to measure the length of my Alice band, which is 14.5, and I transferred that same length to a Marco board. Adding one more inch, which is 15 and a half. That means what my Marco here is 15 and a half by 2.5. So I transferred that same length to my Ashoki with extra one inch for wrapping, okay? So I measure out 16 and a half inches and I cut out with my scissors. After cutting, I measure my marker round, which is 2.5, and I transfer that same length to my Ashoki. Okay, I measure out 2.5, and I mark it out and cut out. I've cut out my Ashoki, so what I'll do now is to use my hot glue to glue the Ashoki and the marker together. Just keep watching and see how it's been done. Also, I want to really apologize. It's when I finished filming this, I got to realize that this camera was not clear enough. But I hope you are getting what is happening here. Okay, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do ensure to do that. Subscribe to my channel, share, like, and turn on the bell notification so that you'll be notified as long as I upload new videos, okay? Share to your friends and family. I will really also appreciate that. Okay? Just keep watching and watching. At both edge of my marker, I ensure I form a curve shape. That's what I've seen looking that way. I form a curve shape so it will look at least as curved as the Alice brand, okay? So, and I make sure that I, I fold that edge properly and here i try to attach a band okay because without the band it's not be firm on the head okay so i discovered that if you don't add this band you can't really move your body especially when you're in your occasion or you're in the church or in a party okay you can't really move your body with this headband so what we'll do is to attach a band behind okay so that it will be firm on the head so here i used white color thread because I wasn't able to get a matching color thread okay so while trying to do this make sure you get a matching color thread okay just keep watching and see how it's been done I've attached one side of the Alice band one side of the band so I, go, I glue gently this is my Alice band okay I glue gently just keep watching, watch, 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 and keep learning, okay? And if there's, if there's any video you want me to talk about, okay, to make, just drop it on the comment section. If there is new thing you want me to know, or I would just want to hear your thoughts, your your own take about this Ashoki fan handband. Okay, just keep watching and keep learning. I have attached the other part of the band to the Alice band. So see how it's looking beautiful. The next thing I will do now is to measure out my Ashoki fabric. I measure out 50 inches by six and a half, okay? 60 inches by six and a half. Because this particular Ashoki is six and a half. So after that, I will ensure that the both edges are, are folded and glued because to avoid those rough edges. So I'll apply my glue gum and fold. I'll, I'll do the folding twice, okay? So this is my first folding. I'll apply the glue gum again and fold twice to ensure that those rough edges will not show. So after this, the next thing I'll start doing is to start printing my Ashoki, okay? Remember this is printed hand fan, and printed fan, sorry to say. This is printed fan, so I'll keep printing and printing 
till I get to the other side of my ashoki. So this is it. This is how after printing, this is how it's gonna look like. So I'll keep printing, keep watching, ensure you like, you subscribe, and also turn on the bell notification so I can get so you'll be updated each time we upload new video. Okay. I will print the remaining part of the ashoki off camera now. So I'm done printing. Okay, so next thing I will do is to pick like four to five stripe of the printed part all right stitch with my needle and thread please ensure you use a matching color of thread while doing your job to ensure a neat work okay so after stitching them together that is the four or five stripes of the printed parts i'll use my hot glue and glue it this way okay just the way you are seeing it i'll glue it this way so at this point, I want you to keep watching and keep learning. Okay? Just keep watching. Watch, watch, watch. Just stay glued to your camera. Stay glued to your screen so you can get what is happening here. If you're getting value from this video, why not give this video a thumbs up? Subscribe if you are yet to do that because there are more to expect from this channel. Yes. Please subscribe, share, turn on your bell notification so you'll be notified anytime we post new video. Watch, watch, watch and watch and keep learning. When you're done with your sewing and gluing, use your hand and arrange the edges to look this way, okay? I'm done with this part. So, the next thing is the rows at the front of this fan design, okay? So, what I did was to cut out 15 inches into two. I'll put them together and glue, 
okay so i'm just trying to measure out to see like i have an excess in one part of the ashoki which i'll cut out later so after that i'll make sure that the two edges are <clears throat> are glued together sorry about that are glued so after that i'll go ahead and form a pleat from this point to the other point after plating i use my needle and thread to target at the middle okay one funny thing about this design is that uh, this is my first time i'm trying this rose design okay so i'm going to do one part off camera and show you how i formed it okay just watch just from one side of the ashoki okay from one side of the ashoki, I pleated inwardly. Okay, I want you to just watch and understand the way it's being done. Okay, just watch, watch. In case you don't understand it, feel free to rewind back so you can get it. It's very easy. Why doing this? Ensure that your thread is not showing. Okay, I'm trying to have small size I can to make sure that though I'm using white thread, to make sure it's not visible. Okay. So, even while using your glue gum, use it carefully. Let it not be gum stained, okay? Because your client will not like it. So, it's not necessarily mean that you must do this. I'm just trying to be creative here, okay? You can also buy flowers in the market to embellish your fascinator, your ashoki. Do you get? You can make other roses like bow tie, mini flowers to embellish your ashoki. This is actually nice. It's all about creativity, okay? You need to be creative. Do something new out of what you've been doing before. All right? So this is actually beautiful. So if you're yet to subscribe, ensure you subscribe. After this, I placed it on my ashoki using my thread and needle, okay? And I went further to add little, little pairs, okay? On each to make it beautiful, just to make it look unique so this is the final look of this wow this is beautiful thanks for watching bye